Have you ever tried opening a heavy door, kicking a ball, or dragging your school bag across the floor? Did you know that every movement like that involves force? Today, we're going to explore a very important science concept, contact forces. These are forces that happen when two objects touch each other. Get ready to discover how every push and pull makes things move. Let's begin our science adventure. In grade 4, we learned that force is a push or a pull that can change the movement or shape of an object. Now in grade 5, we will go deeper and find out 1. What are contact forces? 2. What are the types of contact forces? 3. How do they affect objects around us? Before we start our new lesson, let's warm up our brains with a fun activity. Are you ready to play Guess the Word? This game will help us review what we learned in Grade 4 Science, especially about force and motion, so we can connect it to our new topic today. I'll show you some clues on the screen. Each clue describes a science word that you already know. Your job is to guess the word before the time runs out. After someone guesses it, we'll recall what that word means. It is an action that moves something away from you. Hmm, what word is that? That's right, the word is pushing. Now can anyone remember what happens when we push an object? Yes, we apply a force that makes it move in the direction of the push. It is an action that moves something closer to you. Correct. The word is pulling. When we pull, we also apply force. But this time, the object moves toward us. It is a natural force that pulls objects toward the ground. That's right. Gravity. Gravity is the reason things fall when we drop them. It's one of the most important forces on Earth. It is a rock or metal that can attract certain metals, like iron. Correct. It's magnet. Magnets show us another type of force, the magnetic force, which can pull or push objects even without touching them. Excellent job, everyone! You remembered your grade 4 science lesson so well. Now that we've reviewed push, pull, gravity, and magnetism, let's move to our new topic for today. One that's all about what happens when two objects actually touch each other. Let's explore the world of contact forces. A contact force happens when two objects physically touch each other. When there is contact, a force is created between them. Let's try this. Place a coin on top of an index card and put it over a glass or cup. Now, quickly flick the card. What happens to the coin? It falls into the glass. Why? Because when we remove the card, we remove the contact that supported the coin. This simple trick shows how contact forces work. The card was supporting the coin through physical contact. Here are some everyday examples of contact forces. Pushing a door to open it, writing with a pen or pencil, bouncing or throwing a ball. All of these happen because two objects are touching, your hand and the door, the pen and the paper, your hand and the ball. Now let's learn about the four types of contact forces. One, applied force. When a person or object directly applies force to another object, like pushing a chair or pulling a bag, that's called applied force. 2. Normal or support force. When a surface supports an object's weight, like a chair supporting you while sitting, or a table holding your books, that's normal force. It always acts at a right angle to the surface. 3. Tension force. 
When a rope, wire, or string is pulled from both ends, the force inside it is called tension. For example, the rope in a tug-of-war game or a hanging lamp supported by a cord both experience tension. 4. Friction force Friction is the force that opposes motion. It happens when two surfaces rub against each other. For instance, when you walk on the floor, friction prevents you from slipping. It can also make moving objects slow down and stop. Here's a simple experiment you can do at home. Push a small box across the table. Did you notice it stopped after a while? That's friction. Try pulling a bag full of books. Can you feel the pull on the handle? That's tension. Write down what you observed and identify which type of contact force was involved. So what did we learn today? Contact force happens when two objects touch each other. The four types of contact forces are applied force, normal force, tension force, and friction force. Contact forces help objects move, stop, or stay in place. They're all around us. Let's test what you've learned. Answer these questions. 1. What type of force happens when you push a shopping cart? 2. What type of force supports your body when you sit on a chair? 3. What type of force makes a rolling ball stop? Science is everywhere, even in the simple movements we do every day. Understanding contact forces helps us see how and why things move. Thank you for learning with me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting science lessons here on Study Buddy PH. See you in our next lesson, where we'll explore non-contact forces. To further broaden your learning, let's do this activity.